hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber thank you for tuning once again and if you are a returning subscriber too you are warmly welcome in today's video we are going to be installing this braided wig this is a boho goddess braided wig unit in color 30 it is very nice and i've posted a video on how i added the boho extensions in it so i'll link that up here so this is how the unit comes like i got this unit from trina hair on instagram you can do or to check the description for all the links to purchase this unit as well so this unit is a seven by seven closure unit that we normally call a mini bond towel so this unit is really nice very versatile can be styled in so many ways this is how it looks like before the installation and it's really long as well if you want it shorter they can make it shorter for you but if you want the same length as well just let them know how you want it and they will make it just as you want yeah so you will be installing this wig as i said early on and you just have to pin it away from the face so that you can have control over it then you go ahead and use any jam of your choice i prefer to use shining jam all you need to do is just apply a little bit of shine and jam on your natural edges then you comb them back so i'll be using a small brush to be combing all my hairs back so that everything can lay really flat before we install the braided wig so as you can see me do i just take the small brush and brush all my hair back so that everything will lay really flat and the installation is going to be done very seamlessly and perfectly so this unit can be one glueless if you don't want to glue it down because it is a closure unit and you can just wear it like that so first of all you just have to clean your skin or prep your skin with rubbing alcohol which i've already done that then you go ahead and apply your foundation onto your lace before you do that you can decide to cut off the excess lace of the wig before you install it or you can cut it during the installation process i have a video on how you can cut off the excess lace of your wig it could be a regular wig or a braided wig the same method applies so i will link that video up there too so i just went ahead and cut off the excess lace i'll link the video up you can check it out then i came back to install the wig First off, you have to use a foundation of your shade to make the wig very seamless. You just tint it to your skin tone. So you take your foundation of your shade. It could be any foundation. It could be drugstore foundation or whatever. You just evenly apply it to all areas of the lace. Because that place is going to sit on your head. And that is what is going to make it very realistic. And people are going to wonder if it's... A braided wig or if it's actually that it's actually coming from your scalp you get what i mean yeah so i evenly applied the foundation shade all over the lace just as you can see me do then i go ahead and wear the wig as i said early on this is a seven by seven closure unit therefore you can wear it glueless you can see how it's looking like you can just work out like this but if you want to go the extra and just glue it down feel free to do so just as i'm about to show you in this video so just like this then you go ahead and take your spray it could be got to be spray even spray any holding spray of your choice then you can use it so first you tie everything away from the face so that you can have full control of what you're doing then you spray your spray onto the hair you can decide to spray it directly on your forehead before you put the wig on it or you can spray it directly onto the edges of the braided wig just as you can see me doing here whichever works for you is fine but i prefer to do different methods all the time so i go ahead and evenly spray the got to be spray onto the edges from the one point to the other point as you see me doing over here then you press it in with your hand slightly pat it in then go in with your hand dryer then just spray on medium low heat for the first time and when you feel like you're going to wear this wig for quite a while for some days and you want it to stay intact the 
you can go in and do a second a second code as well you can go in two three times all depends on how long you want your wig to last so i did twice i sprayed it twice and blow dried it but before you go ahead and use your melt band you want to comb out all the edges because you don't want to dry up the edges for it to look so hard when you're done melting your hair it was going to be so hard to lay your edges so make sure that you comb your edges out before you melt it so this is how the wig is looking like i'm so in love with this wig because it is so gorgeous and the color is perfect for my skin i was contemplating and thinking well will this color suit my skin tone but here i am feeling the wig as you know you can see how happy i am installing this wig I'm so much in love with this and it's so versatile you can style it in so many ways so i had, went ahead and did my makeup so that it will have a long time to melt like 20 15 minutes it's okay you can take off your melt band and this is how it's looking like you can see the excitement from my face i was so excited look at it the lace is a transparent lace and it is so 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 nice this wig is really beautiful so you go ahead and just style your edges because at this point you can see it is looking so beautiful looking flawless you go ahead and just comb the baby hair since you use the spray on it it's going to lie very smoothly and if you feel like the baby hairs are too thick for you you can just go ahead and pluck some in just as i did i thought one part was a little thicker than the other part so i just went ahead and plucked a few strands from it then going in with my shine and jam again apply it onto the edges and use the brush to just lay my edges down it is as simple as that this is just the simple and easiest way to install a braided wig as i said earlier on this braided wig is from trina hair i'll link everything in the description box if you want some and dm them and they deliver worldwide as well this this was like below 100 dollars so you know what i mean when i say it is affordable and it is so beautiful and it's worth every single penny yes so you go ahead and just take all the clips away from the hair and see how the hair will look like this is so beautiful you see no one is going to know this is a wig it is actually perfect and this is one of the most beautiful wigs I've installed so far. I know I make a lot of wigs, but this is so nice. So you just go ahead and take your foundation brush and the excess product on it. You just pat it in onto the front line, just as you see me do here. Just to make everything blend seamlessly and it's going to just look like skin. You can see the lines there. If someone doesn't come closer to you, there is no way they are going to know that you are wearing a wig. This is so perfect. Like, I mean, when you get this wig, you are going to dance just like this. It is so, so nice. It's really nice. Just try and get some for yourself. And if this video was helpful too, you know how we do it. Just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So this is how the wig looks like on me. It is very full, but lightweight. Let me say lightweight. This is like very, very lightweight. The curls are not heavy. The braids are not too much. This is just a perfect braided wig. Because I've tried so many braided wigs and some are heavy. Some are just all over the place. But this doesn't even feel like a wig. It feels very light. It is so beautiful. It is versatile because the closure is very wide. You can wear it glueless. You can style it in so so many forms so i just did a side part and this is how it also came up very very beautiful just as you can see here so you can even decide to do a half up half down and just you know and the curls are not that difficult to handle you just get water and leave-in conditioner and everything will just look perfectly fine this is how it looks like and i'm loving it you can tell from my facial expression that this wig has just melted my heart i'm so in love with this wig and that's all i can't see much words are not enough to 
explain how this wave looks like so it is very nice very versatile do well to check trina hair on instagram out for inquiries or anything concerning this week and thank you thank you guys for tuning in up to this end i'm so grateful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel you know how we do it bye <laughs>